Hey everybody, this is CP Roll 43 with a brand new update for you guys. So I know it's been incredibly long since I last got an update out, almost a month, believe it or not. That's the first time I've ever gone so long without doing an update. I'm incredibly sorry for keeping you guys waiting, but uh, things have just, you know, it's been absolutely crazy right now. School, um, the club and prepare preparations with the open house that we had just this past weekend, so it would have been yesterday and uh, Saturday, um, in case I don't post this on the exact same date as I'm recording this, it is, uh, the open house was Saturday the 17th and Sunday the 18th of October. So, um, yeah, I'm incredibly sorry about that, but um, without further ado, I might as well just get right onto the update. I've got quite a few things to cover. Um, a couple of these things actually just ha like came up uh, right after I posted the last update, so it's you know, kind of, um, basically kind of old in my part, but, you know, just better let you guys know what's going on anyways. That's the whole point of these updates. Starting with the ES44 AC here, I did some weathering to it. This was about the day after I got that last update out. I finally decided to get to that. So, uh, just some light weathering, not a whole lot, nothing too special here. Um, I got the, uh, uh, Anti-skid basically weathered and as you can see I got it heavier and heavier as I got closer to the exhaust because that's kind of how I um, See how it should be you know all the exhaust fumes and so on coming out spilling out of that exhaust uh, stack and uh, leaving the uh, Whole bunch of soot left on the top of the roof because you know what this is right the nickname toaster, you know and uh, actually I've got, it's literally a toaster almost, I've got another story of that right away, but as you can see here's the weathering. Uh, it's definitely light, you can't exactly see a whole lot on the uh, uh, hood, but uh, you can kind of see some. And then on this side here, uh, there's a little bit of weathering around there. I basically did this whole part right here, I left the cab piece alone, um, just because I didn't feel like uh, dull coating that. But uh, you know, I did all the uh, basically all the car body and then the uh, uh, radiator wing. So uh, that's all covered. Everything seems to be good. I do like this weathering job. Uh, I think it's definitely one of my better ones um, with the powder. So it was it turned out perfect um, according to me. So, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's perfect and I like that. Uh, now I have some downfalls on the uh, locomotive itself, or basically the decoder. Um, I've been having trouble with its decoder this past while. I went into a factory reset, believe it or not, so I'd reset all the settings, and uh, I was just having trouble between it and then the um, JMRI at the uh, club, but we figured out what the problem was with the JMRI, so all that is good. Now it's just getting the decoder working properly. Um, so I had tried getting the silly ditch lights, which alternate when the horn function is pressed. Um, that is completely unprototypical to CP, although it is to, I think, Norfolk Southern and CSX. Um, there might be another railroad, but I can't, I don't know which one that is. Um, but anyways, that's what they did, and that's how they did it at the factory. So unfortunately, I have, uh, these alternating ditch lights. I went to try and get them so that they would stay on when the horn is pressed because as that is prototypical to CP and uh, you know these alternating dish lights are just kind of stupid. All the club members are like, I didn't know they flashed. They don't flash. They don't flash. Not for a CP unit for sure. Um, but uh, you know that's just how it is. I tried getting that and unfortunately this silly ditch light right over here, um, it would actually get stuck with the number boards, function 5. So I would have this single ditch light here with function 6 and then this silly ditch light with uh, function 5. I did have it at one point where they wouldn't flash, but I still had this silly ditch light stuck with function 5. And it just didn't, it just didn't go well with me. So I went again, factory reset it, and I got the ditch lights on function 6 and they're alternating. So there's not much I can do. And then the decoder itself is now on its last legs. Um, it's basically, uh, you know, it's just acting weird. And uh, I'll probably explain that maybe a later update or something. But, uh, you know, it was heating up at the open house. And uh, actually the first day it wasn't heating up. It was actually just, it would uh, idle okay. All the sounds were working properly. But when I gave the locomotive juice, it would quit, shut down, and short not only itself out, but then the club layout or the block it was on. And, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. Um, and then today, 
or uh, yesterday, um, the final day of the open house, I did a little bit of programming because it, it seemed to me it was a, a wrong function setting or whatever, and it started working. It was working pretty much okay. It wasn't going very fast though, and the decoder was heating up. So literally, it was becoming it. It's a toaster. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was what was going on. I don't know what's going on with that decoder, but as far as I'm concerned, it's on its last legs. And I'm probably going to have no choice sooner or later but to send it in uh, for repair or even replacement, unfortunately. But there's nothing else I can do at the moment. But I like the weathering. It's definitely one of my better uh, weathering jobs. And I'm quite happy with that. Okay, next up. This is very big for me. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys have got this yet or even seen it in the store shelves. Um, but uh, here it is. This is uh, the... Re the uh, current Hour Canada uh, issue, which is October, November 2015. So if you do not recognize this photo, this is my photo, by the way. I took this uh, way back April uh, 2nd, 2013, and uh, this was taken in Canmore. Uh, definitely my most popular photo um, so far. Um, it's just been astonishing how, uh, how much uh, um, likes and, you know, just how many people like it. Um, I sent the photo to the magazine, uh, like, back in March. I have not, never heard a reply until, like, July, late July, saying that they were planning on putting the photo into the magazine. Okay, it's going into the magazine. Yes. That's when I got another email saying they're not even planning on putting it in the magazine. They're also going to put it on the cover. Mind blown. <laughs> so I was just speechless when I found that out and uh, they were saying, okay, we're going to put that in the October, November issue. So I waited right through September and I finally have it. And uh, so this magazine is now on, on store shelves. Um, I'm pretty sure you can continue to get it right until about, I don't know, late November or something. So if you want an issue, you can go and get one. Usually it's in whatever uh, store sells the uh, magazines and so on. So it's amazing for me. I mean, it's unbelievable. So uh, it's got a little article. Uh, uh, I'm not sure you would really call it an article. I guess it's more of like a little of a photo um, article. Um, it's uh, basically one of a part of the photos that have been taken around Canada showing, you know, the railroad, um, what the uh, railroad photography pretty much. So um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just I can't believe that the mag that the photo made it onto the Our Canada magazine. Like I mean, it's one of the bigger magazines in the country. So uh, you know, it really puts me out there, I guess, and uh, it definitely um, gets me noticed. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's uh, pretty much it, I guess. Uh, I talked about like we had the open house. Um, you could probably go onto my Facebook page um, and check out. I'm gonna post some photos onto there. And uh, I guess I showed you guys my keys that I got um, last update. And as you can see, I just had the keys on t from the, for the club. Well, now I've got, let's see, I've got a house key. And then I've got two subway cards. So it's definitely growing. Um, still, it's going to be a while until I, until I get a vehicle key, but that's coming up fast. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Um, not really much else to talk about, I guess. But, you know, I had a blast at the open house. It was incredibly fun and uh, can't wait to do it again in uh, March. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this update. And I'm sorry for taking so long, but that's just how it goes. So until the next video, guys, this is CP World 43 and good luck.